Hello everyone, I'm Sal Dalia, and this is an hands-on video on the ZV-E1, the world's smallest and lightest full-frame interchangeable lens camera. This camera is the flagship in the ZV series, and of course, being a flagship, it comes packed with technology. It has a full-frame back illuminated 12 megapixel Exmor sensor and the brand new XR image processing that is eight times faster than the previous ZV cameras. This sensor and this image you know, processing engine gives you beautiful bokeh, eye sensitivity, natural skin tones and 50 plus stops of latitude. And of course one of the best features of having an E-mount is that you can use all 72 full-frame lenses. In full-frame 4K you have full pixel readout and no pixel binning. With a firmware upgrade that is gonna come shortly after release, you're gonna be able to shoot 4K at 120 frames per second and Full HD at 240 frames per second. You can shoot up to 600 megabits per second all intran and XAVC at 10 bit 422. So that means that this little camera can basically match with all the other cinema cameras that Sony already released. You still have all the, you know, the beautiful S Cinetone, the S Gamut, S Log, and you also have assignable LUT slots, which means that you can create your own LUT in DaVinci or other softwares, import it into your camera, and preview it on the LCD. That's gonna make your post-production workflow so much easier. And if you want this camera for vlogging, Sony created the cinematic vlog mode with just one click. The aspect ratio will change to CinemaScope at 235.1, and you have the choices between Cinetone and four more looks. You can also change the mood and the autofocus transition speed. You have a 5-axis optical in-body stabilization, like in the other famous Sony Alpha bodies, but now you also have dynamic active mode, which is 30% more powerful than the regular stabilization. The downside is that the camera will have to crop to stabilize the image, but this is meant for very fast and shaky type of shooting or for long focal length. To test to the extreme this new stabilization mode, I decided to use the vlogging tripod as almost kind of like a gimbal. I basically tried to move around the dancer to see how much you know, the image stabilization in camera can stabilize the shaky footage. Like in the other ZV cameras, you have the defocus button, which makes the bokeh of your lens even stronger with just one click. And you also have the product showcase button, which means that one click, the camera will automatically focus on the product. I think it's very useful for YouTuber and vlogger that use to showcase a lot of product in camera. You also have a zoom control, so you can use power zooms, but actually also works with fixed lenses. So you have a little bit of digital zoom with the high quality that the camera has. You cannot really tell when you use that little of a digital zoom on a fixed lens. The body is more lightweight and slick. You have tallies both in the front for your subject and in the LCD. The battery is the same Z battery of the other Sony Alpha bodies, but that makes the whole ecosystem so good, you know, because you can switch batteries between different cameras, they match each other, and of course they have the same lens mount. You now have a time-lapse function in camera. That means no more third-party apps or units. You can just have high-quality time-lapse right in camera. The camera has an intelligent three-capsule microphone with manual directivity, which I think is a great feature for bloggers. So that means that you know, if you're vlogging and you're in a very noisy environment, you can just tell the camera to focus on the front capsule of the microphone. So focus on your voice and basically lower the volume to everything that is surrounding. So that's basically like an isolation tool. You can tell him just focus on the back capsule or focus on the front capsule. It's a very useful tool. As an audio input, you have you know, a mic jack, headphone jack, and a digital audio interface, which is great if you use it with other Sony microphones that directly connect with the digital audio interface, so no cables. If you need the camera for live streaming, you can use the USB-C port, and you can go up to 30 frames per second, and through that port, you can have both video and power. But if you want to use, let's say, an external recorder, you have an HDMI micro. The camera has a brand new function called Framing Stabilizer. The AI will be able to track and keep the subject where you want him in the frame. For example, if you want him in the center with just one step, the AI will lock on the subject and keep him in the center. In order to do that, the camera automatically will crop. 
So that means that if you leave the camera and your subjects move, the camera will move also the frame and keep him in the center. It's basically like having like a virtual camera operator. I think this could be very useful for, you know, interview where you're by yourself and maybe have two or three buddies or, you know, like a multicam setup like a concert or a music video. That's a great way for the AI to take advantage of that full frame sensor, you know, because you have so much real estate where, you know, you can move and keep high quality video. When Sony showed me first this camera, as a, you know, Alpha S3 user, I was kind of like, okay, so, why is my camera still you know, better than this, right? So wh what's the difference between this one and an S3? In the ZV-1, you only have one slot for SD card, and you don't have heat dissipation inside the body. That means that you know, if you're shooting 4K at the highest quality, so 4 to 2, 10 beat, uh, you technically cannot shoot more than you know, 30 minutes, depending also on, of course, like the, you know, the weather and how hot is that day. You also don't have an EVF, so you gotta use only the LCD. And you don't have raw output from the HDMI. But I think this camera has an audience, because of course it's cheaper than the, those other cameras, but it has a lot of video quality. So if you are a vlogger, you know, if you're like, you know, starting out, you want to make documentaries or short videos, you know, you basically have the quality to make it happen with this camera. Thank you Sony for letting me use the ZV-U1. If you have any questions, please leave it below. Subscribe to Adorama TV and I'll see you next time.